Right, something a little bit different this time. We're going to do a bit of 3D printing this time. Um, I dabble in and out with a bit of 3D printing. It's a hobby of mine, but I try to sort of share some hints and tips that I use that maybe it'll help you. So today is going to be probably one of the most popular things that people do is uh, Iron Man masks. Right, so this was my first attempt at an Iron Man helmet. This one was done in uh, separate parts and glued together. I hand sprayed it and stuff myself. I will go into more detail on another video on this one, but this one's just for the quick and easy in and out job even. But this, this is my favorite one. But the one I'm going to be doing is for the people who uh, want to do a quick and easy one and they don't want to have to mess about with all different settings and stuff. They just want to chuck it in, stick it on the computer, slice it, stick it in your printer, press go and away you go. So this is the print setup I've been using. It's the Creality CR10 V2. Uh, as you can see it's running. It's pretty quiet and to be fair the only thing you can actually hear when it's running is the fan coming off the power unit. At the minute it's printing some of my custom beard combs that I designed and it's doing, as you can see, it's doing quite a few at a time which is very very handy. Let's jump straight into it shall we? Right, so first thing you need to do is head over to uh, Thingiverse and find the helmet that's going to suit you for the sort of thing you're printing. Um, there's loads on here, so I couldn't really go through them all to sort of show you which ones you want, but it will come in ones with parts or it will come ones on a single print. And I picked a single print one, so literally all you do is download the file, and this is the, the, the file that you'll get. Mine obviously is a single print, which is perfect. And then you head on over to Cura. Drag the file, drop it in the Cura. And there we are. So what I found though, what I needed to do was scale it up as high as you can get it. So I found if I go over here, scale it up, and keep going up until I found my maximum, say 120, too big. You then go down to 110, 111, 112, and you go, there's my limit, 111. So that's the biggest I can do on my build plate, is 111. And then standard settings, you want to go on standard quality, and then that's perfect. And, but I put the wall count up to three, just to make it a little bit stronger and a little bit thicker. 20% 20, 20 is fine on the infill, and we want uh, support, and then put tree supports because then it won't use as much plastic. Then we go down and slice it. It's going to take a while so I'll cut back to when it's finished. Alright so after what seemed like a small lifetime this has finally sliced. So if you head over to preview that will give you the That will give you the whole print layout of how it's going to print and where the supports and stuff are going to be. Alright, so there you go. That's what it's going to look like once it's done. It's got all the supports, all the layers. A good one. It's a massive print. But it saves the faff of gluing and doing whatnot. You can just print it and away you go. And literally after that all you have to do is save it to your USD card, plug it in your printer and press play. And that's it. And then I'll do a quick time lapse of a print.
Right, so there you have it, there's the final piece. Um, I'm quite impressed with it actually, the finish on it is really nice. Um, I'm actually printing this for a friend and he wants to put lights in it and turn it into a display piece on, the, on one of his cabinets. Um, the detail in it is, is lovely, um, it's solid, it's very solid. So it turned out really nice and I'm very impressed with this, definitely. But it is, it's as easy as that is you download it, you stick it through the slicing software and you press play and then you leave it. Yes, it takes forever, it's 86 hours. That's a long bloody print. But after that, you haven't got any more sort of faffing about with it, it's done. Obviously, you're gonna to to give it a nice little light sand and then you give it a spray and then there you go, you put lights in your eyes, that is a perfect display piece. That's gonna do me on this video. Thank you very much for watching. Do the usual, like and subscribe, it's very much appreciated. And uh, I've got a few other little projects on the go, so I will keep you posted. I'll catch you later. Ah.